Hey, everybody. Thanks for being with us. We're here with Mr. Tom Hanks. I just want to lead with a few quick statements. The things that my wife, Evie, and I have been yelling at each other for the past week. Ready? You want to start with one? Right hard runner. Right hard runner. <laughs> <laughs> Heading 091, full spread. We yell that at each other oh, God. constantly. Now, that's just a teaser for the audience, you see. They don't know why we're yelling that at each other. I now, let's explain to the that. people why are we yelling that each to each other all the time? You've got a fantastic new movie called Greyhound, which I thought originally was about a bus. And I didn't care. It's like, Tom Hanks, bus, I'm in. But it's, it's even better. Continental Trailways was taken. We couldn't use Continental Trailways. So we tell the, go tell the good people of, of America what the, and the world, because this is an international show, what, uh, what it's about. Greyhound is about a, a captain of a navy con a captain of a destroyer escort that is shepherding shepherding 37 ships across the North Atlantic at the height of World War II, fighting off the weather, the night, Nazi subs, uh, horrible fatigue, uh, decent coffee, but no hot food. It's a it's a it's it's 88 minutes of uh, just trying to trying to survive in the heaving North Atlantic somewhere uh, in just after the outbreak of World War II. It, fantastic. If you like Tom Hanks, if you like fighting Nazis, how about Tom Hanks fighting Nazis? About okay? That. That's a winner. Fighting. Yes. Fighting Nazis. <laughs> no, you're actually fighting Nazis. You're Tom Hanks fighting Nazis. I love the fact that you and the fabulous Evie that is just down, just down right there. there. <laughs> right in that yes, direction. Yeah. Uh, sitting on an apple crate. I, there, there she is. Uh, um, are quoting, are, are quoting some of the the arcane and yet the the sort of like a, a percussive language of, of the movie because when, when we delivered the final final uh, film, some of the executives wondered what some of those things meant and if we couldn't explain them a little bit more. What like, I love is that it didn't matter. Didn't matter. When we said, I don't know, the, 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 the sonar guy says, too many screw noises. They, they said, could you say propellers instead of <laughs> screw noises? And we said, well, it's kind of tough because we've already shot it. We say screws. And they said, is there any way that we could understand more of, of the danger that is at stake in, in your movie? You mean, like we say, uh, you know, there, there's a Nazi sub out there skipper and we think it might be trying to sink us with a torpedo you want lines like that because we'll put them in if you absolutely need it but they they they, they backed off and we were able just to go with the you know that the, this is this is what this is my my uh, my favorite thing i i, I will, i'll take this up and i'll start using and using it in my in my real life yeah. when i say uh hard left runner meter i love that meter you know, just you said meter. That means go back to where you were. Meter. Oh, meter. So nice. yelling that stuff. Oh, here's another good one too. Pipe it. That's a good Pipe one it. I like. That means that tell means everybody. I want to. I want to know. I want to know. Woo! I want to address the company. Say, yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Now, in the clip that we showed in your intro uh, before the interview started, the, the torpedo barely skimming by uh, the destroyer that you're commanding. It really looks like you guys were on a ship uh, on the water. How much of this movie were you on an actual boat, Tom Hanks? We shot on board for about two weeks uh, oh, wow. on the, U the USS Kidd that is in, in the treacherous waters of the Mississippi River right next to right next to one of the better better showboat casinos in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You could have been boarded but, by riverboat gamblers. <laughs> <laughs> Bat Masterson you know, could have come that, on board. Absolutely. They would have had their silver top canes and their top hats, and they would have studied our ship by taking daguerreotypes from the opposite shore. Uh, that ship is actually very well preserved because it's privately held. So it's, it doesn't have like exit ramps and fire doors and things like that put on it. But the rest of it was shot uh, on, a, on a sound stage on a very complicated set with everybody yeah. working really hard in Baton Rouge. I don't want to, I, I, you know, I want to blow it for you, but you no, know. Not at all. Luke, Luke, and, Luke and R2-D2 weren't really on Tatooine. Tom, yet another break to pay the bills, but stick around. We'll be back with more Tom Hanks.